This is the story of Belmont 88, the greatest horse race in living memory. It's the story of ambition and perseverance, the story of the triumphant underdog. It's also the story of me, Peanut Butter Dumpling. Growing up, I wasn't like those country club horses, hay fed and coddled, born with a silver bit in their mouth. I was raised on the lean, mean streets of West Philadelphia. I guess the fast pace of the big city got me moving and I, I just never bothered to slow down. You know, I got on the fancy circuit young, and like every other cold, I had my sights set on the big one, Belmont, 88. It seems like life up until that race was just anticipation. But it wasn't just me that felt it. Everyone there that day had it all riding on the race. Money, dreams, hopes, frustrations. Have you ever squandered a gift? Well, I blew all my birthday money on magic cards when I was 17. I have a gift from God. You put me in any edifice, I can tell you if it's up to code. Take this place, for example. We're about two months overdue for a catastrophic electrical fire. That'll be bad for business. Not so very long ago, I was a fresh face at a B. Franks Technical Institute. I had an open heart and a fertile mind. And I was fitting to take down this dirty system from the inside. But then I got a whiff of the old green. I knew I was subject to the temptation of graft, the easy dollar. I never thought it would fall so far. I'm sorry, what's your line of work? I'm Kristen O'Mara, certified home inspector, son. You know those bozos down the Belmont? Fat cats watching the race? I work for them, slum lords. Black guards and villains to a man. They give me a knapsack full of cash and a pocket full of Percocets, and I turn a blind eye to vermin, compromised foundations, woeful plumbing, insidious fungal infestations, and the like. Because I am weak, the impoverished suffer. Because I fail, we swirl deeper into the Boshian gyre. Every man for himself, and God for no one. So then you're as guilty as your corruptors. And so I am. But today, the necrotizing capital will see that their hegemony of malice does not grant them absolute power. Their arrogance is not wisdom. Yes, my new friend, today they will see that they have backed the wrong horse. Let's just say I don't think they're going to like the uh, frosting I'm going to put on their little cupcake. <laughs> did, you, did you make that up yourself? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, not really. I saw it on TV. But, but, but I did make up my own joke. Check this one oh, out. Check with them. Check this one out. What is this sound? I, I don't know. What is that <laughs> The sound? extra steam coming out the Chinese stock market. <laughs> We lost a lot of good money that day. <coughs> oh, she's a beaut. Here she comes. Here she comes. Gotta love her go. Yeah, I love it out here. I mean, it's not all about the money. But the money ain't bad. No, but I mean, it's also about winning. God, winning's what it's all about, you know? Today, I got a cool huge pile of gold hard cash and I'm riding it all on the free winner. Yep. Our, our, our horse is strong, uh, he's HIV negative, he's got a good track record, pun intended, and the race is fixed. Yeah, you know what else? What do we have here? There's some crazy blades out here today, Joffrey. Hey, keep it down. Whatever! Uh, steady as she goes, Winthrop. I'm sorry, it's, it's kind Stand of- Stand tall for culture. Put the sons of slums back in the natural order. Chauncey, we can take this money and go buy 40 hot wings. Nah, son. We'll take this money, put it on a horse, we'll get like 40 chickens. Yeah, that's right. Place your bets. Don't sleep late. Fortune finds its fate at Belmont 88. This is our chance. Let's bet on two horses. I did that last time. It does not work. Well, well who's gonna, how are we going to know who's going to win? Who's going to win? Well, a man who knows his pies from his cakes will put 10 to 1 on the nose for Griffin Zephyr. But peanut butter's in the cup. Get your hair cut on Sunday. That's that long shot. I want to put six to seven dollars on the slew-footed nag. I like the skip in your step, sir. She's a trotter! Welcome horse racing fans to Belmont 88, the most prestigious horse racing event in the world. It's going to be a great race today with a fan
fans are beginning to assemble in the stands. Here today are slumlords Nigel and Prescott, who are also the owners of Griffin Zephyr, the clear favorite in the race today, who is being manned by Beatrix Snowpants, a seasoned rider in her own right. The underdog horse, Peanut Butter Dumpling, is being jockeyed by Robin Good. He looks a little nervous today and with good cause because it's going to be a tough race for him to win so with such a good horse world. being the competition. Okay, the horses are getting ready to go and they're going to be off in a second. Oh my God, Beatrix Snowpants has fallen off her horse. It looks like the saddle was covered with lotion. That's very peculiar, but Robin Good is making good with his chance and is racing towards the finish line at top speed. The fans are amazed at this turn of events. Who knows what will happen, but it does look like Peanut Butter Dumpling is going to win. I'll this let them get away with it by any means necessary. Chauncey, they shot our chickens. The fact that you shot the jockey riding the horse that we bet on is 100% and completely, absolutely unfair. Now we'll barnacles. It is pure pandemonium today at the races, folks. The fans are storming the tracks. It looks like Nigel and Prescott are picking up their horse, Griffin Zephyr. I suppose they're planning to carry her over the finish line? I'm not sure if that's legal, folks, but anything's worth a try. It looks like Peanut Butter Dumplings fans are not going to take this sitting down. And neither is Peanut Butter Dumpling. She has gotten up and it seems to be back in the race. Looks like we don't know what's going to happen, folks. Peanut Butter Dumpling is catching up. Looks like they're neck and neck. Oh my god, Peanut Butter Dumpling is pulling into the lead. She seems to be ahead by a nose or a horse hair. Oh my god, in a strange sequence of events, Peanut Butter Dumpling is the winner! What?